a psychologist with a picture of France. Hilter's like, not terrible. Now with a picture of the United States, not terrible. Now a picture with the Soviet Union, I mean, a little scary. Finally, a picture of Switzerland. <gasps> it's the one thing that'll get even the skinny mustache man to shake in his boots. I mean, he might have been a little bit afraid of the USSR, but he still invaded them. The Swiss, on the other hand, wasn't even attacked in the first place. Clearly, the German Reich was just absolutely petrified. Both the Lithuanian language and the Icelandic language coming together as European languages that managed to stick really close to their traditional and ancient roots and retain so much of their old features after all these years. And I never thought we'd ever see these two countries come together like this. The Pope still has the authority to crown a Roman Emperor in the West. If we all got together, we could march on the Vatican and force the Pope to revive the Empire and crown an Emperor. I don't even care who's the guy that gets elected, let's just do it for the lulz. My vote's for Hasbelow though. We're staying the frick out of all this chaos in Europe and Asia, we don't want to touch it. Pearl Harbor happens two seconds later. Alright, new plan. Wasn't hard to convince the USA, huh? Blow up some of our boats and we get absolutely triggered. America losing a war in Vietnam. Meanwhile, literally all of the internet kicking our butt for it as France tries their best to hide behind this wall so they're not noticed. Oh wait, there's China back here too. There's just kind of a theme here, uh, never mess with Vietnam. That wasn't already obvious before. Even Vietnam beats Vietnam. Italians on their way to colonize three countries with absolutely nothing to offer for poops and giggles. They were just trying to be like their friends. They wanted to fit in. They were thinking, well, everyone else is doing it. I want to try it too. It is a little bit strange now that I think about it. Italy, with such rich culture and history, only managed to colonize like these three spots in Africa. Meanwhile, places like the Netherlands and even Portugal ended up colonizing all this. Probably a lot that has to do with that though. No! Those islands are mine! The Pope drew the line here! Meanwhile, the British, cool. Now, did I ask? Spain and Portugal just randomly divided up the world. Then the French and British came and said, uh, nah, we ain't listening to that. It was just gonna do their own thing. Indian historians now, the Mughals were benevolent rulers. No, they were brutal imperialists! Meanwhile, Indian historians back in this period. So basically, my lord, about 50 million people died in this battle. Sounds a bit unlikely, but I'll write it down anyways. I love how no matter where you are in the world, at some point, point throughout everyone's history, historians were like, uh, yeah, whatever, 50 million people, that sounds about right. Honestly, once historians stop being god elephants, I think that's when everything went wrong. Step one, outsource labor to reduce cost and stay competitive. Step two, make your workers redundant so you can stay even more competitive. Nobody consumes your product, their wages are too low now, and so begins the incident of falling rates of profit, I guess. Definitely one of the more impactful incidents we've had. We're actually still dealing with that. The French and Italian languages holding up Spanish and Portuguese. Aw, oh, so adorable. Meanwhile, Romanian. And this has basically been the relationship all the Romance languages have had for several centuries. They've kind of always just been off in the corner, just, you know, doing their own thing. I mean, if you look at the family tree here, they are kind of like the stepchild that gets abused. Haha, <laughs> we just butchered an entire village. Ah! Versus how the Vikings really were. Ah, uh, this lotion really does smooth than my skin. By the way, have you finished with the comb yet? Almost. By the way, did you notice I dyed my hair? I love blonde. Yes, it highlights your blue eyes. Anyways, hurry up. I've got a date with this Saxon girl after I wrote her a poem. Vikings did love to be pretty. It was absolutely fabulous. I actually had no idea that Vikings actually did dye their hair. Makes this even funnier because they still did do the top things too. Like, it was probably a little bit of both. Nobody, absolutely nobody, the French at any point in history. Every country has to have like a favorite sport or favorite pastime. This is just how they did it. Wait, is that Zelensky, the Ukrainian president? Keep the native name for Mount Everest. Nah, how about name it after George Everest, even though it was against his will? And even though they named it after him, he never actually saw it himself. And then this dude decided to name it after his old predecessor. No, but I built this bridge five years ago. Meanwhile, this bridge that will last through the ages of infinite world built by the famous Lacer whose art is divine. So not only do the Roman roads last forever, even the bridges as well? This is getting ridiculous. This thing was built around 104 AD and it's still in use today. I want to go to Spain to check it out. Belgian neutrality, frick you. Luxembourg neutrality, frick you. Netherlands neutrality, frick you. Switzerland's neutrality, you're cool, France. And frick you, I'm out. And that is exactly how Germany and WW2 did it. Only one country's neutrality they actually cared for. No, the difference. Mexico in movies versus medieval Europe in movies. This is also Eastern Europe in the present day in, in movies, especially if it's like in the 19th. 80s. Just always gotta have this blue filter on everything. I feel like that means for Mexico, they're not gonna be able to outgrow this either. Americans before the 1920s, keeping themselves hydrated in the morning. Man, and we used to be a country. Good old days when we didn't have good water infrastructure. Fun times. WW1 be like, dang, we look so fresh. 
much. I know. I'm just hoping that we'll be back before Christmas, though, four years later. Yesterday, only 40% of my battalion has been destroyed. The lowest casualties we've ever had. Let's go. Oh, wait. The other guy already didn't make it. And that's pretty much how this conflict went. I feel like with all the movies and shows about this event, people were realizing just how bad it actually was. <laughs> What is bothering you? I want to become a human. Worry not, sweet child. I can help you. Poof. Wow, I'm human now. Uh, you're kind of hot. Want to go out with me? Okay. Ooh, ooh. Not too long later. So that's how I was born. I guess that makes you our new king or something. I guess this is some mythology from Korea. I actually really want to watch this anime now. I really want to get myself a cute bear girlfriend. I didn't know we were able to do that. I've read a lot of really strange lore behind the origin story of countries. I think this might be my new favorite. Just in case you didn't know, the first pig to fly was in 1909. Was he even awake for the event? It looks like he's napping. So this pig probably flew way before the vast majority of humans did. Wait, pigs fly? Is that where it comes from? Humans didn't invent agriculture. Humans were domesticated by wheat. No, this doesn't make any sense. Wait for him to scream. That's impossible. I feel like it's kind of both. We both mutually benefit from each other. In September 1543, he asked for and got letters authorizing him to annoy the king's enemies. In fact, he annoyed them and everyone else so much on this court, they had him locked in prison temporarily to prevent international outcry. Is this the first pirate to do a little bit of trolling? I want that job just to annoy the crap out of my enemies. The trolling might have been a bit excessive. Literally had a license to troll. And now for the top 10 and bloodiest conflicts of all time. Well, it's all just five Chinese civil wars. This is one of those things that's really only surprising to you the first time you look it up. Every other time this gets brought up in the memes, I'm just like, yeah, it makes sense. That's why this 4chan summary is literally perfect. The 1800s Spanish Navy staring at the 1800s French Navy. Meanwhile, literally nobody is ready for 1800s British Navy. How are they even supposed to compete with this? Kind of a little too late by this point. Germany every 20 years. Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure to inform you that it is time for war with France. Hmm, and you know what? It's been quite a long time since we've had one of these. I think we're over our 50 year limit. Can't wait for them to keep up the old tradition. Pooh, wait, that's that's not honey! That's 15 million dollars worth of cocaine! And that is exactly how Winnie the Pooh came to his end, or his demise. They just don't like to talk about it that much. And this is a story that's been getting more and more spotlight because the movie just released. And this really did happen back in 1985, at least a bear finding this substance and then eating like a whole bunch of it. But uh, the preceding other events, probably not, but you know what? We don't know for sure. I haven't seen the evidence otherwise. Bears can't carry artillery shells. Bears aren't supposed to drink vodka either. Meanwhile, this Polish man being like, Sig, and of course this bear is saying, uh, yes, that's how they do it in Poland. I'm sure Poland would have offered him other substances if they could too. This Syrian brown bear served in the 22nd Artillery Supply Company. He would even wrestle with Polish soldiers on his free time. I wish I was brave enough to be able to do something like this. All right, countries, how long did you last against the Third Reich in WW2, asks Germany. I lasted around two months against Germany during WW2, says Norway, about 61 days. You're pretty lucky, says France. I only lasted 46 days. Despite in spite of being screwed by the USSR 2, I've lasted more than a month, says Poland. Not bad. They did get attacked on both sides. At least you lasted more than a month, says Greece, 24 days. Yeah, but you know what, Greece? Germany had to come down and help Italy for that, so you didn't do bad either. Both Belgium and I lasted 18 days, says Yugoslavia. Not bad. The Netherlands lasted one week. Um, okay, yeah, it, not, not good. I'm very small, so it makes sense, says Luxembourg. They only lasted a day. True, they, they are pretty tiny. Imagine taking a nap in Denmark. Denmark, but waking up in Germany uh, as they sweat, Denmark lasted six hours. And unfortunately, we're never going to let them live this down. Honestly, some reports are saying Denmark only lasted two hours. Let's just move on. German post WW2 scouts be like, Johan, age seven, war veteran, and local out. Yeah, they were pretty desperate for uh, manpower. I mean, could you blame them? They kind of wasted them all the years before. Hey, little man, how's it going? The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. Yeah. Surprised to see a post about Lovecraft that isn't mentioning his cat. It's kind of a miracle. Yo, guys! New Mr. Beast video just dropped. First person to invade Poland gets $100 million. And man, oh man, look at the contestants he got for this challenge. Looks like he's had to revive almost all of them. Genghis Khan and even Stalin is here as well. Even Napoleon's gonna do his thing. And I'm glad to see the history community supporting this video. 50 million views. Don't forget, you're also gonna need some Swedish king from the 18th century. They also invaded Poland for a little bit there, too. Northern Ireland, which 
which couldn't even have a flag of its own. You guys act like you're better than me. Meanwhile, Wales, Scotland, and England. Wait, Northern Ireland doesn't actually have an official flag? The only official flag for Northern Ireland is the Union Jack. How long was I gonna go throughout life not realizing this? Ah, the flag that they most often use is just the Ulster banner. Or I guess this, too. That, yeah, that, too. Well, Northern Ireland, at least you still have some representation on the Union Jack, unlike somebody we all know. Losing a war because you fought against almost the entire world, small brain Germany, taking the enemy capital, but losing to the weather, slightly bigger brain France. Losing a war despite overwhelmingly winning most battles. Not bad, Phoenicians. Losing a war despite having air, naval, and weapon superiority. Oh, yeah. Galaxy brain move there, USA. It's actually just incredible that you're able to do that. That's what it's like fighting Vietnam. Yo, Prometheus, don't give fire to humans. Nah, I never in a million years would do that. Two seconds later, yo, this is lit. Talk about Giga Chad Prometheus. is not play by the rules. Unfortunately, Zeus is really gonna punish him for that. Doesn't matter when you're a Giga Chad, though. You have no idea how angry I am at you right now. I'm sorry, my king. Please don't hurt me. <sighs> don't worry. I'll forgive you. Really? Yes, and I'll even give you this nice elephant, too. Thank you, my king. So this refers to a white elephant gift. It came from Siam. Elephants, if you didn't know, are extremely expensive and hard to maintain. So the king would just offer his enemies these because it would likely bankrupt the guy. Now that's a 40 chess move. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023 at 6 Boy, do I love Arby's. Drew's Eritrean grandma. Portugal is not Drew's Balkans. Argentinian $20 grandpa. $20 is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwal. Brighton is the Caleb best. Caleb H. Drew, Gibson, good old Ryan. Jack Traven's annoying John friend. John Denver. Lugs and Bork Girl. Fresh Animations. Rise. The, the Weekend, the, the Great Commonwealth, Thwick and Hamsters, and Zany Boy.